What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get custom faces on your Apple Watch using the Clockology application. So here is a quick example. So if I show you guys my Apple Watch right here, I have this custom face, basically a G-Shock. So there are a, um, a lot of selections where you guys can select like funny ones, unique ones, um, and a bunch of other ones, which I'll show you guys later on in the video. But basically what this app is, Clockology, it's going to be running in the background on your Apple Watch. So it's not really in the Apple Watch itself. So I can actually just exit out of this app right here. It'll basically go back to the original Apple Watch face. But it is still a pretty cool app that you guys can basically get custom faces. So if I look for that right here, there is Clockology. We'll load that up and it's going to bring us back to the custom face that we have. So uh, still pretty cool. I know a lot of people might complain about that, how... Um, it's just running in the background. What's the point of this app? But like I said, still pretty cool. And a lot of people still enjoy this application. So what you guys want to do first is head over to the app store and you want to download the Clockology app. It is completely free. I'm going to link it down below in the description if you guys can't find it. Uh, so once you guys have done that, we want to go back out. We want to search for the watch application. So like the Apple Watch on your iPhone and we need to turn on a setting. So we want to go to the general tab right here. Scroll down until you see the return to clock. And then by default, it should be set to after two minutes. So what we want to do is select after one hour. And the reason we want to do that is, uh, like I said before, since it is running in the background on our Apple Watch, we don't want to go back to the original Apple Watch face. So that's why we have it set to after one hour. So once you're in the app, you can see that there are a bunch of Apple Watch faces that you've probably never seen before. Um, obviously, the ones on Apple are just kind of basic. So... Um, right here, there's some pretty cool ones, but what you can actually do is, is join their community on their Telegram, Facebook, Reddit, or TikTok, which they recently added, and you guys can see people, uh, creations of custom ones that they've put on the social media pages. So um, I highly recommend joining their community. Uh, the ones on here aren't the greatest looking, but they are still pretty cool. But um, I highly recommend joining their Facebook page just because you guys can actually search through it. Um, Telegram, you're basically just have to scroll through all the ones you want. But through Facebook, you guys can actually select for a specific one. So if you want a Rolex one, you can search up Rolex on the Facebook page. So um, once you guys have joined your, their community right here, I'm already in it. There's over 700,000 people in this page. Um, like I said, you can search for a Rolex. And basically, people will post the ones they are using and also a link with it. So that's pretty cool. We got a Mickey Mouse Rolex one right there. Um, so now let's kind of find one that we want. So I found one right here. This one has over 500 likes. So like I said earlier, they will be posting most likely a Mediafire link. So you want to tap on this link right here. And you don't want to down through um, the actual app. You want to actually click on the three little dots right here and open in your browser since we can download through Safari. So tap on the download button right there. Nothing happens, so we'll tap on it again. It's downloading now. Tap on it and download again, and it should be a .clock file. If it isn't, uh, maybe it's an incorrect file, so make sure it's a .clock file. And there we have it. So we can now load it up right here, go to our downloads. So once it is finished downloading, we wanna just tap on this Rolex one. I've done a couple other ones from earlier. So we wanna tap on this right here. This is automatically gonna pop up so you can even edit if you want to. So if you wanna edit some of the things, add new layers, you guys can do that. Um, but if you wanna send it to your Apple Watch, just click on this little send button right here. It's gonna send it, wait a couple seconds. And obviously sometimes you might have to back out of the Clockology app and then go back in for it to actually send. So it automatically changed right there. So now, this is our new Apple Watch face. Looks pretty dope in my opinion. Um, obviously, this is the original one. We go back in and we want to open up the Clockology application. And there we have it. So it does look pretty clean. There we have it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is the Clockology app. So probably one of the best ways to get custom Apple Watch faces um, on your Apple Watch. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like on it. Hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. It's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.